everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I've been kind of nervous. Um, wasn't really planning to speak today. It's kind of proud to uh, speak engagement for me. But my name is Cassandra Carter. As you guys know, I'm a coach author with two books. Uh, my first book called Fast Life was published in 2007, same year I graduated from high school. And um, Six Isn't Always Sweet came soon after in March of 08. Um, I guess I'll answer the first question probably on everybody's mind is how did you become a published author by the age of 18, basically. Um, and for me, I just always love to write. It's something I've always done ever since I was young. Probably as soon as I knew how, I was writing. And um, it just kind of progressed and blossomed and evolved as, like throughout school and as I grew up. And um, I was 14, actually, when I had the dream that inspired me to write Fast Life. Up until that point, I've been doing a lot of writing for school and different things, but I never really thought about doing a book. I never, as bad as I wanted to be a writer, I never thought it could happen for me, and it was like a realistic dream. Um, so I had this dream, and I woke up, and I heard this voice, and I'm not crazy, but I heard this voice tell me, Cassandra, you should write a book about that. And I got up, and I just ran with it, and it just snowballed and became this way bigger thing than I ever intended it to be. At first, I didn't even want anyone to read my book, I was terrified, you know, because I started when I was 14, um, and I had to put it down once school started again and everything, but when I was 15, it's, that summer I worked on it day and night, that's all I did was write that book. That book, in the original format, was 130,000 words. Like, I lived and breathed and ate and just did everything, slept at that computer. Um, so, you know, I just, it just kind of grew into something way bigger, and my family started passing it around behind my back when they heard what I was doing, because I didn't want anyone to read it, because I was scared of the content, because I was so young at the time, and I'm thinking, you know, no one's really going to be able to accept this from me, but they did, and they supported me, and they backed me ever since, and they've just been so encouraging, you know, my teachers, everybody, peers, everybody, so it's really been a blessing in that, in that respect, because I was terrified of how people would receive it, but, um, so yeah, so let's see, I finished it when I was 15, and my family started passing it around. They, they're the ones who encouraged me to get published, specifically my grandmother. She was the one who really pushed me to um, look into getting published, and she really believed in me. So we started doing the research and whatnot, and we got an agent, and then, and that was a challenge too, because I was so young. You know, he was reading it to reject it. He was very critical of it. Um, but he saw something in it. And around the same time that he took me on as a client, Kamani Chu, um, a young adult imprint for Harlequin, was just being formed, and they were looking for the material. So the time was just right. They came to him and asked him if, they, if he had anything, and he gave him my manuscript. They loved it, and it you know, kind of went from there. But it was in no means like an overnight success. When I finished the book, I was 15. When I signed my contract, I was 17. Um, the book originally was supposed to be, Fast Life was originally supposed to be like the launch title on the Kamani Tree line, like come out in January, which my birthday's in February, so I was still 17 in high school at the time. Um, but because it was so long, because it was 130,000 words, we had to cut the manuscript in half. So I think, yes, so I faced a pretty big, um, you know, challenge as a writer, like off the bat. Um, you know, trying to preserve, preserve your storyline and keep it good and still make it sense and, you know, not not undermine your plot or anything like that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of cutting, a lot of editing, but I feel like it came out pretty good. It's still 300 pages long. So, um, but it, it got a lot of positive reviews too from all across the board, from people all across the world, honestly, from the UK, Canada, local, everything, of all ages, all walks of life, men and women. So it's really exciting. Um, I just actually submitted the sequel to my first novel, to Fast Life, uh, to Kamani, and I'm waiting to hear back from him on that. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, so that's just kind of how I got started. And it just kind of went from there. I've been doing local speaking engagements at libraries and schools, and like girls groups, book clubs, things like that. And you know, just trying to get out and network some more, and try to meet some more people, and you know, get my face out there. So you guys should check out my books. Uh, I think you guys will really like them. If you have any nieces or you know, little sisters, or would, would not, I think they'll really like them too. So, yeah, thank you guys.